Excuse my little Kuti Kente Afro. Don't worry about it. 33 year old Marvin Holmes. Say he was having a little trouble with his wife at home. You know what I'm saying? In that thing, Rom. You say he was having trouble at home in his marriage. You know what that is? When both of y'all sleep back to back, booty to boot. She ain't letting him get deep up in the vagina factory. That thing down there said no trespassing. So he went out looking. Looking for some things to do. Women in particular. He's trying to get his thing massaged. He don't want the happy ending. He want the happy the beginning to the end. He pulled up to this food store. And that's when he saw Rhonda Kelly. 41 year old Rhonda Kelly at the food store. He said, what's up girl? What you up to? She said, I'm just looking to have some fun. He said, oh yeah, for real? Me too. Get up in the car. He knew what she was looking for. She knew what he was looking for. He told her he had no money. So they drove to the pawn shop. He gave Rhonda his 10 carat red ring. She went in the pawn shop. And pie the damn red ring for $20. 20 damn dollars, huh? This is the cheapest damn hole I have ever seen, ever heard of, ever heard of. 20 damn dollars. You know what you could get with 20 damn dollars? A couple fucking burgers at McDonald's. After she come back in the car with the $20, he drive her down to this crack house and she buy some crack. That's what she spent the $20 on. Got back in the car, they drove off, parked somewhere, then they start messing around. Marvin said they stopped because she got nervous. Of course she got nervous. She just got done hitting the pipe, twitching and shaking and shit. She just got done smoking up $20 worth of crack rock. Police seen a vehicle, searched the car. They found crack marijuana in the back seat. They know that she, they, were, they already recognized her face. She be out all the time, you know what I'm saying? She already been caught for prostitution. He went to jail for paying the prostitute. She went to jail for solicitation. You know what I'm saying? You gave your wedding ring. To a stranger, not only a stranger, a hooker, not only a hooker, a strange hooker that smokes crack. To go in the store and pound it for $20. A 10 carat red and ring. This bitch could have took that red and ring and said, see ya nigga. I'm going to be back in the next Never. You know you fucked up, right? Your wife ain't really ain't gonna take you back now. Who knows what type of vaginal diseases did that street walker had? She smoked a crack out of the damn crack pipe. You luck, cause I know for damn sure if you ain't have no money on you and you had to pine your red ring, I know for damn sure you didn't have no damn condoms on you. I know you was gonna hit it raw. I know it. I know you was gonna hit it raw. Don't lie to me. Woo! Or whoop is your best friend. You know what I'm saying? These are your best friends. You got these. When you got these, nobody can keep you down. But times like this, when you get a little lonely and you want some attention, that's when your hand pops up. <laughs> your hand is by your side. All day, every day. It's there 24-7. It's loyal. Why is it loyal? Because it's always by your side. Your right hand. Or if you're left-handed. Or if you're ambidextrous. Both hands. At the same time. Like a shake week. Look at them dancing. They entertain. When you're bored, they entertain you. They dancing for you. Like showgirls. Damn a prostitute. You got your hands. Just steady dancing. And whenever you get lonely, because I know your wife ain't going to take you back, especially not now. Whenever you go back home, remember what I said. 